All right, Guardians, so if you've got the Gallahorn quest already, but you want to know how to get the Catalyst, which is really going to take this thing to the next level, you have to enter back into the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. So if you haven't been in here before, probably need to do this to get the gun in itself. But basically what you're going to find is when you come in here, literally like right if you drop down from the Cosmodrome section up there, uh, you pass by the first little collectible, which I've got a video over those as well. Come out here, you're going to clear a few ads. And then what you're going to do is once you clear a couple of ads, you got a Shrieker over here, you're going to want to take it out. You're going to have like four ads over here. Probably going to want to take these out as well. And then once you're up here, just take these four out and I'm going to show you guys one little chest. And it's right here. Requires the Burden of Riches. Now, as you picked up the engrams, you've noticed the Burden of Riches will be that debuff that you have, and then you kind of deposit it into the crystals. Well, the Reaver Vandal is a joke back to Destiny 1, if you didn't play it, and there was somebody called Randall the Vandal. He was this Vandal that spawned every so often who was stupidly hard to kill, and you'll notice when you do damage to him, every so often you're going to get a little engram to pop out of him. If you can pick one of those up, Get the debuff, you got about 30 seconds to run over here and then open the chest. You have to do that two more times in different locations. So this is the first one. I'm going to clear these ads out and then show you guys the run through. And then I'll cut forward to the other two. Alright, so once you've cleared most of the ads, you don't have to clear them all. Get your damage in on him when you see one of the engrams drop. You can make the jump from this little half crystal bridge over to his ledge. Pick up this one, you're going to see you're going to get the burden of riches. You've got 30 seconds, so you don't really have to rush. Jump up here, and when you get up to the chest, you're going to be able to collect your loot. You're going to see re you recovered looted fragments, and every time you open one of these chests, you will see that. So let's go forward to the other two and get you guys your catalyst. All right, so the next one is when you get to this room. If you've done the first one, you'll see the Reaver Vandal again, and you should be able to, if you do some damage to him, he's going to drop your Buried and Riches. So it's in this room. When you exit up through the crate up above, what you're going to do is head through here. Turn to this side over here, and you're going to jump over to this platform, and you're going to open chest number two for the catalyst. So this will be two out of three. Again, more looted fragments, and the last one will actually be in the big circular boss phase, so let's cut ahead to that. All right, so after you've cleared out enough of the shields where you could actually go up and fight the boss, you don't want to do that. The last Reaver Vandal is going to be over there where you can see Travis. So the entrance is going to be over there, and then if you follow the right side wall, Kind of basically if you're going counterclockwise through the room from the entrance, that would be the low platform one. And we're going to, on the right hand side, it's the second section of buildings and stuff on the right hand side. You want to line up the middle platform to basically launch you over there. You're going to land in the water. We're going to go ahead and line it up and launch on over. You should find Randall the Vandal over here in some aspect. If he's been killed, cool. If not, he should be roaming around. I've got these guys with one of these things that has actually already been dropped. So let me find Randall. So here's the dregs. A couple dregs should be easy to kill. And then we'll find big guy. So you just need to do enough damage to get him to drop. One of these little things. There you go. Once you get the buff, grab your 30 seconds. You can even grab another one if you feel like restarting the timer. And what you can do is... If you have this one lined up to send you back, all you got to do is launch yourself back over. Should line me up. There we go. And then if you manage the launch correctly, then what you need to do is kind of keep gliding. And you need to get up here fairly quickly to the top of this chest up here. And this will be it. And that is your Gallahorn Catalyst. So hopefully you guys found this video beneficial. Shout out to Travis and Teddy for helping me out. And now, it's probably going to take like a gazillion kills to finish it. But for the time being, now we just got to defeat targets. It is very cool though, so it increases the magazine size, I'm guessing, probably to two. I don't imagine it's going to take it all the way to three. But the weird thing is, final blows with Wolfpack rounds, so it's like the Wolfpack rounds, the ones that spread, spawn a faster, more powerful missile at the target's location. I don't know where that missile actually goes, but I'm going to have to get this thing and find out. So for now... That is how you get uh, the three Randall the Vandals, basically, or Reaver Vandals. Kill them, get the little engram buff, dunk in the chest three times. And the third one is going to probably take you a little bit of timing. But when you do get that one, you should have your catalyst. So if I add anything else to this video, it's more explaining how the catalyst works. But for now, hopefully you enjoy.